My mom needs to know these things. She needs to understand the truth. She needs to understand that, that these things between me and Marion will never, ever, ever go away. They'll never go away. This is not we got into a fight. This is this woman being literally out to get me. That's the best way I can describe it. This woman being out to get me when I never did anything to her to warrant such hatred. Warrant such vindictiveness, you know? She was like this before my mother ever gave me a penny. I wish my, I wish I'd never taken a penny from my mom. I wish I never even had to. Do you realize if I had never had to take a single penny from my mother? have nothing on me because my mom gave me money and because I took advantage of my mental health. She has that on me and she can tout herself as protecting my mother from me. Everybody believes her. Everyone from the doctors to the police to the family to whatever believes her. And just I'm scum, whatever. Nothing to do with my family. <laughs> yeah, I know it's canceled. She's like, she's like, I love you. We all love you. Marion loves you. My daughter's children. Oh, God. Sell me another bridge, why don't you? I'm not my mom. I'm not easily brainwashed, manipulated, nothing, nothing. I'm not my mom. She, you can say whatever, and she just takes it for no. No. You have cancer, and that's why I'm, I'll be around you, whatever. You don't even know what Marion is to me, and if you knew, you wouldn't even care. You fucked me over, too, but you have cancer now, and I can remember for all those years. I mean, that's why it hurt so much when you fucked me over, because you'd been my friend, you'd been there for me through this bill. If you're there for me, then something this big, and you fucked me over. When I'm 40, you know, I mean, you have cancer, you know, I have to, I can't just teach the rest of them, get it, get it, fuck me over, I hadn't done anything wrong, I hadn't done anything wrong, none of you know what it's like to have a schizophrenic woman as your mother, none of you know, even when you have her as your family member, you don't know what it's like to be first hand on a day-to-day basis, no, you do not. I fucking do. I do. None of my family knows what that's like. And that's why they can just brush aside me or just think I'm just whatever, you know. They don't understand. They never have, and they never will. That is the bottom line. And you know, crushed with this existence, and then on top of that, I had to have a family member like Marion. <sighs> so unfair. I never did anything to her. Except upset her with my existence. My mom will tell you. Mom, I just asked her, Mom, what did I ever do to marry you? And my mom's like, nothing. You know? She has to admit it because she knows it's true. I never did anything to marry you. Nothing to warrant the way she thinks. Oh, she can use the excuse. She's protecting my mother from me. But remember, that was only recent. That was only... My mom gave me money and... End of 2017, you know what I mean? That was recent compared to my life. 
afraid of you, and she has such and such money in the bank, whatever amount it might be at the time the mayor may or may not find out. Um, and I don't care. I don't fucking care. That's the difference between when I was living with Donald Hope and when I was staying with my mom in 2009. I don't have a penny to my name, so you, I said you throw my street, but believe me. Donald was threatening every other day to throw me out. If I looked at him sideways, he'd want me to leave, you know? So in the end, when, when that fucking cunt stranger called and told Hope what I was up to, how she got the phone number, how the cunt stranger got the phone number, I don't know, I don't know anything, I'll never understand it. But whatever, telling, telling Hope and telling, oh, she lied to Hope. I'm just telling you this for your own protection, Hope told me. She was like, she was afraid for us. Oh, afraid for you. Your, your son is the one who's the abuser. Your son is the one who left me like garbage where Billy shut me backwards down so hard that I went smash my head and eat that. Oh yeah, you're she's afraid. She's not fucking afraid for you. She cannot stand me and what she deems as my narcissism or my just like Mary, my narcissism, my arrogance or my whatever. You know, she wasn't afraid for you, Hope. She doesn't know you. She doesn't give a fuck about you. She just wanted you to throw me out. And then you didn't do it. Why? I don't know. I don't know why they didn't throw me out at that point. But I do know that Donald was threatening to throw me out left and right all the time over nothing. Because I tried so hard with them. It's so hard, you know. But that cunt stranger calls up. You know, my life was turning into nightmare. And why did she do it? Simply because she couldn't stand me and she wanted to fuck me over. That's why. She could pretend to hope, oh, you're giving it there her home and she's doing that to you and blah, 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 whatever. It's all bullshit. She's a bullshit to be constrained. She was just, she doesn't care about hope and all. She didn't know them. She was just calling up to fuck me over. And at this point, even why did she care? I wasn't hurting her whatsoever. See how people are? I wasn't hurting her. I wasn't hurting Marion, you know. People just don't like me, so, you know. I wasn't hurting this woman. I'd stopped, um you know, spamming Nickelback videos, it stopped that long ago when this woman decided to do this. And the hacker got probably the same person that hacked and destroyed all my stuff. You know? Is that some people are? That's how people are, you know? They can't just live and let live, can they? No. Of course not. Of course not. I can't just live and let live when I'm not hurting you. Yeah, I'm not beating you up, I'm not I'm not a crackhead breaking into your house and hurting you or stealing from you, what no. All I'm doing is saying stuff on the internet that you don't want to hear or don't like or don't want me to have a big head or whatever you deem it. Oh,